it's All cold. Right. So we're doing a quick little test run to make sure that the gun's dialed in for this up and coming cat hunt. Yep. We're uh, headed out to Montana. Um, I got a special mountain lion license for out there. And so uh, me and James are driving over and we're gonna start hunting tomorrow. Uh, Chris, uh, our newest guy, put together a 25 Winchester Super Short Magnum uh, with an old loophole uh, VX2. So we're gonna slide it in real quick before we head over. And uh, yeah. Dude, I have some of this in uh, 300 Win Mag that Pete gave me. Look at that. 25 Winchester Super Short Magnum. Super Cold. cool looking. Yeah, this is super cool looking. So, this is the range that I have access to not far from the house. And there's targets set up. Uh, this one is... 107. That one is 200 on the dot. 100 should be yeah, plenty for. That one's 305. I'm just going to do the 100. Dumping snow, it is five degrees. There is no road, sort of. <laughs> Not much. And um, we're actually pulling up to the store right now that we're gonna be meeting them at. And uh, this will be my first time meeting him, but I'm, you know, I've been talking to him off and on. He's a friend of a uh, mutual friend, Pete and Miss Tina, here in Montana, Northwest Montana. And uh, yeah. We'll see what we can do. Using the wheel route the whole way? Yeah. yeah. Unless they it's normally a wolf. do that, like they'll walk the road rut. Oh, yeah. A lot of times the wolves will get off though and piss, piss on, on something. Stuff. That's why back I follow up. it yeah. and see what yeah, we can we'll find. See. Still going down the road. Mm -hmm. See, it could easily still be a wolf. Yeah. Easily. What are you thinking? Just uh, another elk track. <laughs> and action. Action. <laughs> uh, so you said something was digging in the snow up there? Yeah. That would yep. be a dog? A lot of the times a wolf will dig. Okay. Spots where they've urinated or they're yep. curious. All right. And um, you said that you guys pulled a tom out of here last week last week yeah and there was a female running with it yep okay i got a uh female tag i don't know if we clarified that when we started filming yesterday but no normally whenever you find a track like you set the dogs off i mean do you ever find them like within a pretty short distance or it normally does it take quite a bit of time 
it all depends on how far the cat traveled. Yeah. You know, it could have a kill 300 yards off the road and be sitting on that kill. Yeah. Or it could have went four miles. Right. All just It's just a kind of a guessing game. Yeah. And how old the track is is a big factor too. Yeah. So whenever you were uh, blowing in that track, you said that whenever like there's not much snow in it, whenever you blow in it, it'll like, you'll be able to actually see the print underneath. Yep, you'll be able to blow the powder off the top of the print and look at the toes. Huh, I never tried that, but I don't do much cat hunting <laughs> in, the, in the snow of Washington either. But <laughs> For sure there's at least two females running this area. Yeah. And you said you pulled just, another one out? Yep, well, I was a little uh, further north here, but... Oh, okay. All right. It's just a matter of time before, they, before she crosses. Yeah. Well, hopefully she'll do it while we're here, but we'll see, I guess. Absolutely. We just uh, appreciate you taking us either way, you know? I was going to go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so mountain lions are uh, one of the few animals around here that can breed year-round. No you know, kidding. A female can go in the heat. February, August, just any time of the year. So a Tom's always on the prowl, looking for a oh. female in heat. Hmm. I didn't know that. So there's not really like any particular like rut for mountain lions? No, like a bobcat and lynx mainly have their, their uh, kittens in the spring, but a mountain lion can have them anytime. Hmm. Man, I hate to be a mama mountain lion having kittens in the winter, dude, that well, sucks. a lot of the times <laughs> in the winter, if they're having kittens, they do have a, uh, a lot of times I'll find an old mine shaft or an old cave. Huh. You know, they'll go down in there and hmm. Guess I ain't doing no exploring. <laughs> I ain't going to explore no caves in the middle of winter, dude. Is that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's big mine as well just go back. Yeah, what is it? Jeez. I'm sorry, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. One of the big reasons why a cat actually trees is because they don't have the lung capacity of a dog. They get winded a lot faster. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get mad at me. This is just coming from the lies that are being spread <laughs> within the cat hunting community. Dude, it's totally the same cat. Look at that. There's Gatlin. And then uh, here's another shot of his face. That's dude. The same dude. No way, man. Let's see. Let's compare the picture. Yeah. It looks like the same picture. There it is. Man, that was killed. Northwest Montana. Northwest Montana. With one of my dogs. Well, I heard it what was in Bellingham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So. Oh man, what's that? What's that? A uh, letter, Kenny line like uh, bad gas travels fast in a yeah, small bad, town. Bad gas travels fast in a small town. <laughs> All the way in Bellingham, dude, and it was killed right so, here, <laughs> like so, right on this road somewhere. Dude, man. It's like, su it was such an elaborate story. I was like, holy shit, it has to be true. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, remember that big snowstorm we had? I'm like, yeah, I remember. I remember it. They're like, yeah, well, his steer got killed, and they they knew the lion was coming back to it. So the dude set up a blind. No, I swear to God. That's so he elaborate, up, man. He set up a blind, right? And he was going to wait on it all night long if he had to. Yeah. So he tied a piece of fishing line to the steer's leg and tied it to his wrist in case he fell asleep and the lion started eating on it or pulling on it. He would wake him up. <laughs> he said he woke up to a, the lion, got all excited, shot and missed. The lion took off and he was like devastated. This is what this is the story is. It's so elaborate. And I'm like, wow, man, that sucks. And he's like, yeah, but he stayed, it, stick, stuck it out. And then in the morning, he had fallen asleep again and he got tugged again. And he woke up and he's like, oh shit. And he got his gun up and shot it. And I'm like, wow, that is incredible. Yeah. And then I had to come all the way here to Montana chasing lions with these guys to find out it was all a elaborate lion. <laughs> People yep, are ridiculous, you, man. That That's crazy. Two days before it was killed. That is incredible. Well, we treated it the year before, too. I got pictures of that line in a tree up above our house. Dang. And then he disappeared for a little while, and then he showed back up. That's why we were like, we got to get Gatlin over here, because he was the one, one of the guys we wanted to get a good Tom. Yeah. So we chose him. 
That's a set loose on top of wherever the pitcher's at. It's right next to it. Shot it right down there in the bottom. Wow. I got a video of the shoot too somewhere. I'll have to get that from Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. Alright. So uh we got started about six this morning. And um you know, it was it's our first day. It was uh you know, not the greatest conditions. Uh, Dylan could tell you more about it, but. Yeah, so we started around, I don't know, six o'clock this morning. I got a little late start. And uh, I kind of knew it was gonna be bad in the first place. Yeah. Dumping snow. Started right when we were about ready to leave, so. Yeah. And it usually makes for tough looking because all the tracks get covered pretty fast. And yeah. Doesn't leave indentations on the, on the road very well. Yeah. And uh, figured we'd just uh, keep trying, but. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. So yeah, we're used to that. So <laughs> we know all about the struggle, man. So <laughs> Tomorrow's another day, though. Yep. We'll hit it again tomorrow. Yep. Oh, my hands are cold. All right, it's day two. It's uh, dumping snow. It dumped snow for what? <laughs> 12 hours? It didn't stop, dude. Yeah, it didn't stop yesterday. We're gonna get after it anyhow. Uh, Cody's gonna ride the snowmobile. Um, Joe's gonna, meeting us out there somewhere. Or yeah, he's Joe's running out, for us. Joe's out checking right now. We're just gonna yeah. pretty much check the same roads we did yesterday. Yeah. Conditions are probably worse than yesterday. But <laughs> yeah. We'll, uh, Bombing it see through the snow. We can do. Yeah. The wind drifts are pretty bad. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> so it'll be fun either way. So. Um, you have your radio. I don't know if it's on the right channel, but I got it. It where is it the backpack? Yeah. It's probably it's on the right channel. I imagine yeah. so. Alright, I'll go up the <laughs> and then uh I don't know. Oh, up here. Oh yeah, I'll hit the gate up there. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to go too terribly far. But just go hit below the cliffs and stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then uh I won't leave without you, of course. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> I think I'm gonna ride this ditch back to the trailer. I don't think I'm gonna take that road again. Oh, I don't blame you. It was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, man. <laughs> Joe? No. Did you? A while back. What did he say? Oh, he was just down over on foothills. Oh, okay. I think Megan's already just, just now checked this. I'm pretty sure I saw Megan down by <laughs> <laughs> Was it her? That's what I said too, but Cass said no. It has a sticker on the back. Yeah. I saw it had a grill guard on the front. Where are we meeting? Somewhere, you got the radio. Do you have the other radio? No, you do. Joe has it. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I don't know, I was calling for you all morning. <laughs> units like do they switch it over to the quota if all the special permits aren't filled or do they just keep it closed uh, they just keep it closed okay so if you own the tag you can not fill it and that tag just won't get filled period now are you for or against a quota didn't you say that they're considering just doing a quota hunt instead of yeah, the I'm special not, permits I'm not against quota but the bad thing is is you can kill too many cats with the quota system and right now i think the cat population is pretty good up here yeah so i'm not all for it's like pretty contained because a long time yeah. ago over in a, in a different unit they ended up killing double their quota oh yeah yeah so would we, you say that it's like a, a pretty dense population or it's not too dense and it's not too slim in my opinion yeah it's pretty balanced in uh, Washington, in the blues, like the Blue Mountains, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation has put out an article from a study from our fishing game that the elk calf depredation was at 80%. I think it added up to be like there's a cat in every 10 mile radius, generally speaking, over yeah. there. There's probably more here than that. Yeah. I, well, I think there's probably more there <laughs> than that, oh, yeah. too. You know, I mean, 80% of uh, elk calf mortality is extreme yeah. you know but we can't hunt hounds over there so like i mean i don't think that most folks are like riding around like we are looking for tracks you know right because nobody wants to walk in the snow for well, six hours well, you know hoping well, that they're gonna worried. catch up <laughs> i'm just kidding dude <laughs> um all right so it's the end of day two and um we didn't treat any cats because there was too much snow it's the biggest snowstorm of the season. Um, as a matter of fact, all four mountain passes in Washington are closed right now. So James behind the camera don't even know if he's going to make it home. And um, also, we ran into wolf tracks everywhere we went. And, um, you know, they can be uh, not great for running dogs, which no, Dylan can tell you more about. Absolutely not. If you uh, have a cat track and you have wolf tracks nearby, you honestly don't want to run them because wolves will come in and kill your dogs. And uh, I can't, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it happens It happens pretty frequently, you know, and um, it's uh, happened to uh, folks in Idaho and here in Montana. Um, you know, the wolf population here in Montana is huge. Um, we ran into wolf tracks everywhere we went every, for the past two days everywhere you know? today yeah and if you see a wolf track near a cat track you you don't want to run that cat because there has been several incidents with people i know that have run a cat and a wolf has came in and killed their dog so yeah it's not a smart move to do yeah wolves surrounded his dogs last week he was telling me and um Yep. You know, but one of the beautiful things about Montana is that you can manage wolves here, unlike our beautiful home state of Washington. Um, as a matter of fact, we came across uh, sets of fresh wolf tracks today, and there was a guy out there trapping them. And I mean, they had maybe just crossed the road, you know, but it's not safe to let the dogs out, so we're gonna try and get them tomorrow. The snow's supposed to clear up, so we will see. Yep. <laughs> try in the morning. It's got a little snow in it, not much. Definitely runnable for the dogs. Yeah. Um, 
I guess uh, we'll, we'll wait till daylight before we run it. I'm yeah. out there down. I can't make it. All right, we're, we're waiting. <laughs> so like, I can see the lobes. It might be hard to pick up on the camera, but it's like, isn't it like one, two, three with a dip at the top? Yep. And then um, you know, no nails. I mean, I can see a little bit of nail right there. You'll but... see nails sometimes if they're going up like a bank or something. Yeah. They'll stick their claws out, you know. But most of the time, walking down this road, their uh, their claws are not out. Yeah. How uh, how old would you say it is? You think? Yeah, it's probably. I'm gonna guess probably yesterday around like five o'clock. Okay. Six ish, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Fresh enough to run. Absolutely. Right yeah. on. This getting this snow in here holds a lot of scent too. Yeah. It's not. It's not wet. Mm-hmm. Not raining. Rain will wash the track out pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we run it, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. I think the dogs are too. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet they are. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's day three and we are just a recap um i have a female tag for a district here in northwest montana and um we've been snowed in um snowstorms it's covering the tracks Terrible. wolf tracks um so we decided to check some other units for some other folks that have tags around here and we cut a fresh track this morning yep yep and uh it's your friend taylor Yep, my buddy Taylor's coming with the guy with the tag, so we're all going to set our dogs on it and see how it goes. Yeah, all right. It's pretty dogs, man. Yeah. What kind of dogs are they again? These are red bone walkers. Okay. Well, she's got a little black, she's got half black and tan in her. Okay. This one's a red bone walker. I don't believe it. I mean, papers are great and all, but it don't make a difference to me. Yeah. Hey man, a good dog's a good dog. Is Hank's collar and leash on him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what kind of dogs are these? Uh, black and tan. Okay. Yeah. Hey, can you, oh, never mind. How old are they? This one is a year old, young. She don't know much. Oh, and hey. uh, the other one is three. Okay. I want to get out and go after. Behind that one more knot. Just going to be both here. This way here. That was very good. That's good. Yeah. Oh, smell it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 o
Right on the left of that selling. pin is the main road. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. The highway? Right there. No, the road we drove. Yeah, the, 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 the road the yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Yeah. We can honestly probably turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right off the road over there. Yeah. We are going to turn around because the dogs are heading over the hill towards the lake and the old railroad tracks. So we're going to get down there, get as close as we can to them in the Jeep, just in case, you know, they get towards the highway or just to stay as close as we can to them in case anything yeah. bad happens. Do, um, will a cat cross the highway? Do you ever see that? Oh, yeah. They yep. will cross the highway. All right. and that can be pretty dangerous for the dogs. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe on the quarry tree. I know. Where are we go heading to? Down the road where they're treated at. Go right ahead. Inside the road. Go ahead. Over to you. You want to treat? Oh yeah. Wow. Quarry that was fast. Tree. <laughs> Man, <laughs> dogs make quick work. We got one treat. Good yeah. news. Yeah, that's good. not a sound. That's music to the ears. <laughs> yeah. Let's get going. <laughs> yeah. Let's get going. All right. Yeah. Trellis. Tree. It's a little nervous. Yeah, it's getting nervous. Really? Really? Uh -uh. Unless you were looking up, dude. Or unless you had dogs, you know what I mean? Like, you never see it. An adult Tom, so fixing to maybe put a smack down on him. So we'll see. Yeah. Dogs did great. Yeah, they did. puppy that we're training and uh turned around and went back to where we turned her loose at so uh i'm trying to catch her and bring her back to the rest of the pack she's right here 226 yards from us okay and she just went out to where we turned her loose at. now she's coming back she's right there okay and we're right here yeah so hopefully she shows up in a minute yeah. <laughs> Cody just told us that actually one of the folks that showed up has a tom tag too, and that's a tom. So uh, he said they might be looking to shoot it. We're gonna definitely make sure it's a tom, and then yeah, we'll see what happens. All yeah. these all these units up here are uh, special line license only. They're management units essentially, so they only give out a certain number of tags for conservation purposes. You know, to keep the population in check. Don't take too many away. Don't let them overgrow. You know, so. We'll see.
good? Yeah. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. Oh, I can't just jump and do that. So you let the you let the dogs like you know chew on them, sniff them, and all that just to like, yeah, a little reward train them, give them an yeah. idea. Yeah, you just don't want to tear it up too bad. No. Yeah. What's your plan, Alex? A rug or a leg slice or? Fuck, I'm in the mouth the whole thing. Nice. There yeah. you go. Wow. This is a one-time uh, yep. endeavor. That's awesome. Sure. Yeah. That's cool. I feel like we put enough time in the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we put our work in nothing first. Yeah. Especially after your 14 miles a day. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Who would like to have the pleasure of the day of that? Howard Twelve. He's gonna go straight up the weekend down. I don't know, we'll find out. How easy this thing drives. Are you going first, I guess, James? you know just letting them loose and there's a cat there and you treat it and you shoot it and it's really not like that there's a lot of work involved it takes years of experience learning to decipher different tracks um you know the folks that we were with and i would think it's safe to assume most cat hunters you know they care a lot about the cats just as you know the rest of us do and you know they they don't want to take too many cats out of an area they only allot certain a certain amount of tags anyway um per district and they have let a lot of cats go 
you know, just to get an idea of what's in the area. A lot of time they run dogs for the biologists, you know, so that they can call their cats. Um, and the sense of community that's involved is, is amazing. There were times where, you know, we'd have four or five vehicles looking for cat tracks, you know, in three different districts um, to help other people fill their tags. And, you know, me and James were more than happy to ride along and, and just learn about the whole experience. It's not necessarily about filling the tag. Um, and I'd like to fill the tag, however. So I will be coming back here in a couple weeks and we're gonna give it a go again. So this is Brett with Bear Country Outdoors and we wanna give uh, Dylan and everybody a huge thanks for letting us tag along and trying to get us, you know, get that tag filled and looking forward to coming back.